So Bob drove to the parking lot and then went for a run. I've, I've done that before, I can relate. So he parked, started running, and he ran three and a quarter miles. And at that point he decided to run just another 50 minutes altogether. So in those 50 minutes he would run a bit further than the three and a quarter miles, but then he has to make it all the way back to his car. Now we do know that his speed is eight minutes per mile, and if you're not a runner, that's a really strange and novel way to represent speed for you, I imagine. Normally for speed, we would think of it as distance over time. In fact, that's the definition of speed. Here instead, they're giving us time over distance, eight minutes per mile. So this is actually not a speed, it's the reciprocal of a speed, technically, and I think this is where a lot of people mess up here. So let's take it slow. Eight minutes per mile, but we have 50 minutes. So 50 minutes is more than eight minutes, so it should be more than a mile. How much more? Well, how do 50 minutes compare to eight minutes? I would say that 50 minutes is more than six times as much as eight minutes, right? Because six times eight is 48, and 50 is more than 48. So we're talking about more than six times as much as eight minutes, which means we can get more than six miles. Now, if you want to be more precise, you could just divide 50 by eight, which I would split up as 48 over eight plus two over eight, and you get six and a quarter. So now I know that in these 50 minutes extra that Bob wants to run, he can cover exactly six and a quarter miles, but three and a quarter miles I need to put aside for running back from where I am currently, and that just leaves me three more miles, which I'm going to have to split half and half, right? I'll go another one and a half miles in the same direction and then turn back. So it turns out that the correct answer to this question is one and a half miles. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.